What's up guys? Uh, Taryn here. We're gonna go ahead and look at some more stuff with SimCraft. Um, here we're gonna do a little bit more of an advanced. Last video was kind of just a drop-in tutorial and this is gonna be a lot more of how do I do a lot of the stuff that I'll need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. So you'll have to, I just got extremely white because bright ass screen in front of me. So, um, here we have SimCraft. Here we have just an imported profile. We're gonna actually do something else. We're gonna go over to import sample profile. And you can do this with any class, but I'm gonna do this with mine. So we just imported the basic sample profile uh, from, War from a Warlock, but we wanna change this into a basic profile for me. We don't wanna do that going through the API uh, through the Battle.net API because sometimes it gets wonky, sometimes your artifact strings fucked up, all that other stuff. So we're gonna go, we're gonna rename this to me, uh, baseline. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually delete that line. We're gonna delete, uh, well, we might delete that line, give me just a second. So we're gonna come back to our game here and uh, I've got, uh, I'm gonna respec go to my basic affliction gear all right and we're gonna go and type simcraft and so what that does is it pops up this thing cool so we're gonna go ahead and go boom grab all that stuff go to our correct thing and we're gonna take from here and paste that in so what we just did is we just grabbed um, the simcraft uh, profile here pulls and parses through our character right now, generates things like the artifact string, which is important, generates our talents, and generates a very basic uh, version of what our um, what our gear is, including the 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 all the artifact stuff, which is a pretty big deal. So we got that now. And with that, we got this, we want to figure out some stat weights. So we're gonna come over here Go to scaling. We're gonna enable scaling. Um, you wanna make sure you have Intel for for any class. You wanna have your base stat, so Intel. You wanna have probably either spell power or attack power, if those still exist. We probably aren't gonna need it. We're gonna turn it off for now. You really shouldn't need it, but anyways. You should have Intel on there. You should have crit, haste, versatility, and mastery. And you should probably have weapon DPS if you are a um, uh, if you're anything that uses a weapon, so your melee, your whatever, uh, especially like things like warriors, which get a lot of damage from that. So we're gonna come here and we're gonna set up our options and our globals. So normally you want to do this as a 1500 iteration or a 15,000 iteration. The reason why is that's that's where you finally get your error margin of error. You have enough of a sample size um, to shrink that down, uh, shrink that error down. Um, I am only gonna do a 5K for uh, time sake. Um, we'll I'll bump this up to eight threads just so it runs a little faster. Um, but I'm only gonna run uh, 5,000 iterations just because I don't, um, don't have time. Um, this thing recommends scale factor generation for 10,000. I personally recommend something over 25,000. Um, really, that's that's about where you're finally getting the, um, you're getting enough. If you wanna run this overnight and you're running a big profile set, run uh, 50,000, just so you get a nice, you remove as much error as possible. So, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this and we're gonna hit simulate. I'm just gonna go through. You're gonna see this button here, it's gonna simulate, and then it's gonna go through all the scaling. So it's gonna do scaling for int, it's gonna do a scaling for spell power. Uh, actually, I have that turned off. It's gonna do a scaling for int, scaling for crit, haste, mastery, and versatility. This one is running really quick. Um, another thing, if you really wanna get uh, see something kinda cool, is you kinda go into your task manager, look at your CPU, and you should see, you should see something looking like that. So we're done already, great. So that's that's all SimCraft right there. So you're gonna see here, it's giving you a warning, telling you to run, you should probably run this again. That's fine. We will run this again later for, for my own benefit. benefit. But uh, what you get now 
So you get a nice little set of skill factors that say, hey, here's all this. And you also get your pawn string. So all you people that are always wanting your pawn strings, this is how you do it. Make sure you use something over 10,000. I personally recommend something over 25,000. Start it, go get a cup of coffee, go get a drink, go, you know, uh, jack off, something, something along those lines, um, and you'll be good. Uh, this kind of gives you another graph as far as the scale factors. This is some error margins, so you can see this error is still pretty big. Haste may actually be worth more than mastery. You don't actually know. Uh, crit is not worth more than mastery for me. So it gives you an idea. Um, this is some cool stuff. Uh, some other things that you can use in here to get an idea as to how this represents something on live, you can look at things like Reap Souls proc. If you have conduit procs, you can get a good average for conduit procs here, compare it to your live logs, stuff like that. Um, comparing your damage, the, the one thing to remember is comparing this number to what you see on live is a very bad idea. You will probably never see this number on live. So keep that in mind. But what it is a good, what, what SimCraft is very good at is giving you a relative um, comparison between option A and B, right? So we're trying to compare some stats. We're trying to do some of that stuff. So that's cool. That's kind of how you generate your stat weights. We're going to turn that off because we're going to do a couple more things. So here we have our baseline. Okay. Um, now this is the talents right here, and I want to I wanted to pull these up uh, and just kind of show you what this is. So if you go to Wow DB, I'm going to go to Wow DB because it's just is a little quicker. Um, this to expand, whatever. Uh, so we're gonna go to talent calculator, and what you'll see here is um, you're gonna see a three one one three two one one. What that means is this is column one, this is column two, and this is column three on your talent. So what I have is a three one one three two one one, right? That is the talent build. That's what this talent stuff right here means, right? So we wanna go ahead and compare. This is one of the things that happens a lot is you'll see these big ass giant sims and you'll see all the various talents and all this stuff that you could be running. And we're gonna compare. What you can do with these is you can actually mash things together in one profile with the command copy equals, and then you name it, uh, Terran Wright. I'm going to call that writhe, and then we're going to take this talent right here, and we're going to change it. Let me make sure I have um, I have this spelled right. Yeah. Anyways, um, so we do that, and what we're going to do is we're going to change this to whatever our writhe should be. So we go here, and that is going to be a 2, 1, 1, 3, 2, 1, 1, right? So we're going to just change this guy to a 2, and we're going to simulate. Okay, no errors, good, 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 good. So what the copy does is it takes everything from before and just replaces it with whatever is in these lines, right? So we have a carbon copy of our previous sim, and then we also have a Rithe sim running the exact same gear, exact same artifact, exact same everything, except for it has different talents. So now what you can do is you can start to do crazy stuff like this. So we'll go to Terran Fodum, right? And what is the Fodum build? That is this garbage, right? So it's three, one, 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 two, one, three. So three, one, one, Three one 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 two one three. Right? Three one 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 two one three. Cool. And we can go and simulate. And it'll simulate all three and it'll stack them all up nice so you can actually take a look and you can inspect them. Um, you can turn on uh, when you're doing these, you can turn on scaling on top of all that, and you can get stat weights for all these things, and you can compare how the stats change, the stat values will change going from build to build to build. And as you can see here, your bottom build is very not good compared to Effigy. Told you guys.
Kfotum is so fucking garbage, dude. I know. I hate Kfotum. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm live recording this guide in chat, guys. You should always come check it out. Um, I'm probably going to just go ahead and end this video. Um, I'm going to have one more guide coming out. We're going to talk about relics and what the fuck you do with that. So, uh, thanks for watching. Check out my other guide if you have no clue what to do with SimCraft. It'll be in the description below. Thanks for watching.